Hello, I am Rishi and welcome back to our channel Rishi Apps. So today in this video, we are going to create a Python program to fetch Nifty 50 companies, information, share price and other data. So without wasting our time, so let's get started. First of all, before starting the program, the required libraries are uh, BSC data that you can download it from uh, pipel.org website. First of all, open the code editor that you want. So for example, in this video, I'm going to use VS Code. So you can uh, open whatever uh, editor that you are using regularly for your programs. So first of all, open uh, create new file in Python. So let's create new file. And this is going to be a Python file. So I have saved it. So let's save it as with some unique name. Okay, once we saved it with a unique name, so we need uh, one source data Python file. So we need to create another one file. But in this video, I have already created that. So now I'm going to uh, open that file. Okay, guys, we are going to open another one uh, file called uh, script underscore py. So you don't need to worry about this. I will share this uh, file link in the description part. So and now what this code is, uh, what this file is going to have is the script codes and the security ID. Okay, now what these both are? Script codes are nothing but uh, in BSE, all the listed companies will have one uh, particular code called script codes uh, by which we can access the company's name or other information. So like uh, TCS is having a script code of uh, 532540, right? Uh, so like this, every company is having uh, one data. So actually, I have stored uh, this uh, script codes in the order of Nifty 50. Actually, uh, we can uh, get the free data of BSC only. That's why I used uh, BSC data for here. So now, what is the use of uh, security ID? So security ID is nothing but you may see in, uh, if you are investing stock market that you may see in a uh, regular basis. That is, uh, if you take the example of company Infosys, it will have a specific ID called uh, INFI like that, right? Uh, so like that, uh, uh, like that, uh, these are the security ID, like a company short form. Uh, so these are the security ID. Okay, now what is the use of uh, this uh, script codes and uh, security ID in our program? is uh, so user is going to uh, we are not going to create any GUI in this program uh, in this video but even though we are going to use in our console panel so the user is going to enter the name of the uh, I mean the security ID of any company so that security through that security ID we are going to fetch uh, the fetch this script code uh, from this variable and through this script code we are going to uh, get the comp that company's information okay so actually from our BSE data library, we can get only uh, that only the data through the uh, script codes. So that's the only way that we can do. So that's why what I do is what I done is uh, I have created the list of uh, script uh, that is the script codes and uh, security ID in the same order so like that. So if you see means um, it is in the uh, same order of script codes and like it is started with TCS and that is 532540 and it is ended with the Asian paint that is 500820 the script code and in the same order also so order only I also created this security ID okay now use uh, I will explain it again what is that um, this uh, user is going to enter any of the security ID uh, in our program and through that security ID uh, for example if a user is entering TCS, TCS means the index value of this TCS in our program is zero actually python will start with zero right that's why so actually tcs uh, index value is zero and that same value we are going to get from the uh, tcs this one so actually uh, script codes okay so now through that we are going to get the information okay now without wasting our time let's start the uh, programming part so first of all what we need is uh, we need to um, import the psc data library so from bsc data dot bsc import bsc and we need to import and we need to import the uh, the script underscore source python file script underscore source that is the python file that we have stored all of the script codes and security id actually if you are not clear with that uh, both concept that is a uh, script codes and uh, security ID while doing the program you will be understanding so now first of all what we need to do is we are going to create a uh, variable called exchange so this variable is going to store the BSC function okay so next what we're going to do is uh, we are going to 
for now we are not going to uh, give the input for now so now let's have the example of security say security is going to be infosys that is infy actually it should be in the capital okay so actually later we will change this variable uh, data as uh, Im input uh, user input but for now for uh, just for information we will store the instead of user input we are going to store the security id as infy so guys we are going to create one variable called quotes so which will stores all the uh, script codes okay so let's uh, use a script code script underscore source and dot the variable that we used is script quotes right yeah script underscore quotes so this is going to store all of the, the script codes and another one that we want is uh, the security id so that is going to be sec underscore list okay is equal to uh, script source dot that is that we have that is sec id security underscore id that is the list that we have okay now we are going to create a variable called fetch data fetch data so what this is going to do is we are going to <coughs> get the uh, index value of the uh, index value of the that is the security id that we have got okay so we are going to get the security id like uh, sec underscore list and dot index uh, index of the sec that is the uh, variable that we stores the um, that is the security ID of the user actually till now what we done is uh, we have created a variable called fetch data so in that we are going to get the index value of the uh, particular uh, a particular security ID that have been given by the user for example user has given here as uh, NFA that is Infosys. So from the list that is the security ID list, we are going to get the index of the user input that is the uh, SEC. So for example, in this we are having the NFA as 0, 1, 2, 3, 3 as an index value. So now we want the index value as 3, right? So let's test it. Fetch data. So let's see. I want it in our console panel yeah we are having the output as 3 right so now what we need to do is uh, we are going to use that index value 3 uh, to fetch the data of security id okay i'm not not mean the security i mean not the security id that is the script code okay okay now we are going to get the script code as sc or we're going to give as a uh, temp data as the variable so now temp data this variable is going to store the script code of the uh, particular company that has been defined by the user so <clears throat> we are going to get the quotes that is the uh, script quotes list and we are going to get the fetch data that is the index value 3 okay now we will get the uh, script code that we required okay now with that script code uh, so let's test it so print uh, temp data if you want you can run this yeah we have got the uh, required security id right so i mean the script code so now what we need to do with uh, this with this script code we are going to fetch the data of the company so how we are going to do is we are going to give, create another variable called a result so this is going to store the uh, this is going to store of these uh, results in the order so first of all let's have the brackets over here so now we have first we are going to have the company name actually in this uh, script source uh, python file itself i have defined some uh, whatever the what are required things that we need for this output okay uh, like we have company name security id and market cap so don't worry about this file i will share this in the um, comment section before that i want to show you another one thing so result we are going to uh, store as so in this uh, results i'm going to store the overall uh, list overall output that is given by the library so like i'm going to give the exchange dot get code so get code means actually we are going to get the overall results the all the results that have been given by the library um, from the uh, bsc okay so that is a we need to get code 
of the uh, temp data that is the required i mean the script code so now we are going to print the result okay now let's print the output i mean let's me let's run this code so if you run the code means uh, this is the overall uh, data given by the uh, our library bsc data so we have various informations like uh, company name current value change and p change price change and updated on and like this so many information uh, that we have the the information that we want is only uh, small that is company name current value like that so let's do the program for that alone okay now what we need to do is uh, we are going to create a brackets over here so now we are going to create a uh, first we need to display the company name that is this we'll create this with the string sorry sorry okay now first we are going to store the uh, display the company name so company name how we are going to fetch that company name alone so let me show you so actually we have got that uh, temp data over here right so actually we need another one uh, variable to fetch the data i mean the fetch uh, overall output that we want actually uh, we have get in the temp data variable we have stored only the uh, script code that we required but from that script code we want the overall output that have uh, been given by the library right so to, for storing that we need to uh, st create another one variable called code i mean the code temp this is the variable that we want to you can name any of the variable you want any of the name you want and so we are going to get use the same uh, same syntax over here so exchange dot get code of the index so index is nothing but the temp data that we that have been given by the user actually this will store the overall output given by the uh, our library okay from the company name uh, we are going to get the company name uh, object alone okay so how we can do that that is uh, this is the code you quote underscore temp this is the overall output we need only the uh, company name mm, company name actually actually here c will be small i think okay let's check that yeah here c is small the company name so now next what we want to, we are going to leave some uh, leave one line over here so for that we need to give one slash n this code so by, with this we will create uh, another one uh, so we will create the next uh, data with the uh, by leaving one space one line of space okay <coughs> okay now next what we need to do is uh, next what we require is the industry that the company is being so let's copy and paste the same code and let's keep this instead of company name let's have industry industry and it's all going to be the same so here for industry we i we need industry only i guess yeah industry only instead of company name put industry We have successfully uh, done the program to uh, display the company name to the total traded quantity so now let's run the code let's see the output yeah it's showing as uh, we have stored uh, uh, company name as infosys it's showing company name infosys and other data till the uh, total traded quantity what we required is instead of uh, setting the default value as infosys we want the users to input their data like any other company they want so now what we want to do is we are going to instead of uh, nfi as a default value we are going to give one input input and that is going to display like please enter the security id
like that okay security id you know what we this will do is uh, we can uh, make the user to input their own security id by that we can uh, get the information of any company they want so let's clear the terminal for now okay now let's run the program it's showing yeah it's showing here right uh, please enter the security id okay now instead of infosys let's try any other company like uh, what we can try itc we can try so if we enter the itc itc so it's showing the data of itc company right it's showing company name itc limited and industry and other data like market cap cmp illustrated on this data will be shown here and now what is the problem is we want the security id in the caps uh, capital letter that is the upper case but uh, the default value of a keyboard will be in lower case we want uh, the user input should be default defaultly in uh, upper case so for that what we are going to do is uh, so in uh, sending the uh, security that is entered by the user security ID there, we are going to change it as upper case okay upper okay now if we done this means so let's save clear the terminal and let's run the code now okay if i if i'm, I'm not going to uh, click any shift key or caps lock button so i'm going to enter the itc same name in the small case I just taking it is an in a uppercase okay so even though if I enter the it in a lowercase it is taking it as uppercase okay what happens if the uppercase function is not there so let me show that too let me clear the terminal and run the code so I'm going to enter the ITC value in the lowercase it's not showing the output right because the security ID should be in the uppercase so instead of uh, sending the security id in the upper case lower case uh, we want it in the upper case so if we run this code now it will run so if we enter the itc in the lower case it will take and give this the uh, required output so this is the uh, overall so this is the program that i want to show you today so if you want more financial tech uh, technology videos uh, please uh, share me in the comment section that you want the uh, more videos and tutorials based on this other than app, apps and websites so that i will also create more tutorials based on this so i'm also in instagram right now please follow us our instagram page rishi apps so i will give the instagram page link in the uh, description part even i will pin it in my uh, comment section so thank you let's see in our next video bye